In this video, we're going to check if a particular workbook exists within a folder. We will create our subroutine. Check workbook. And we're going to create two variables to begin with. Again, workbook name as string and another one called workbook path string. So the current workbook that we're actually in is Excel demo, which is Excel demo dot XLSM, which is right here. And we're going to look for this particular workbook. So we will assign the name of that workbook to our variable workbook name. Workbook name equals Work book one dot xlsm. It's important that you include the correct extension uh, at the end of the workbook name. If you don't, it's going to return an error. In our case here, it's actually an Excel. Uh, it's a macro enabled workbook, which is why I have the xlsm, not your standard xlsx workbook. Our next variable is going to be workbook path equals because the full the workbook that we're looking for is in the same folder as the workbook that we're currently working in. We can just use active workbook dot path, and we will concatenate that with and and work book name now to actually check if it exists we will use an if statement if der work book path equals blank then we'll just throw up a message box to say workbook name and does not exist. Else box workbook name exists and if and that, and that should be it so we're going to look for workbook one in the active workbook path of the one that we're in and it should return a message box to say that it does oh, does exist another typo It does exist. Now, if we change this to workbook 5, which is not actually in there, it should give us a message box to say that it does not exist. It does not exist. We could also fully specify the path in a string rather than using active workbook path uh, for for example uh, workbook one we could just copy that as a path for example and put in workbook path equals just comment that out so that's the full path actually uh, put into a string and it's going to look for the workbook one dot xlsm and this pretty much makes this become irrelevant so if we comment that out and we put in then it's going to return that whole string and tell us whether it, it exists or not 
in this case it should exist exists and if we actually change the file extension to else xlsx it should say that it does not exist because it doesn't it's actually a xlsm workbook and that's how it's done how to check if a workbook exists in a particular folder thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please give us a like and subscribe